What's up? What's up? It's your man, Jimmy Chan. All right, so we have to do this math right here, right, with combinations and factorials and all that type of stuff, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and type this right into Desmos, and uh, let's see what comes out of that. And then this right here, that's just 65 times 64 times 63, because the 62 factorial will cancel out on top and bottom. All right, so to show you what this is gonna be in Desmos, here we go. Let's go to Desmos. So we want, <clears throat> what we're gonna have is actually, let me do this, divide. And we want to see a combination on top and the bottom. And on top is going to be 9, choose 4. And the bottom is going to be 3, choose 2. So that's how you go about doing it. All right. And we're going to have a 42, as you can see, on the right-hand side. So we come back. So this is going to equal to <clears throat> 42 minus... 65 times 64 times 63 times 62 factorial over 62 factorial. All right. With that being said, the 62 factorial will cancel out. So what I'm going to be left is going to be the 42 minus that humongous number, which is so we can go 65 times 64 times 63 is 262,080. Okay, so minus 262,080. All right, so we can go back to decimals and put that in. So we have that answer. So we have a 42 minus that answer. So ANS will give me that 262080 and I have negative 262038. So this is going to equal to uh, negative 262038. That's a bad eight. Huh? There we go. And that's going to be choice D. Well, I hope that helps. If there's <laughs> any arrows, I mean, if there's any questions, let me know. Talk to you later. See ya. Bye.